Why do zebras have stripes? Because they don't want to be spotted. <laughs> it's the second round of the Dad Bods and Mighty Stripes Divisions. Welcome once again to March Mammal Madness. <laughs> I'm in Malawi, and I can hear some drumming far away. Weird. Anyway, the kudu and rabbit have just met in a dry stream bed. The rabbit hasn't moved yet, and wow, that drumming's getting kind of crazy. Okay, <clears throat> the kudu is foraging, and what? Look at it! It's a flash flood! I guess that's what all the drumming was about. The kudu is stepped up onto the bank, but the rabbit has been swept downstream and out of the tournament. Wah! The striped dolphin weighs a whopping 727 stokes. The side striped jackal weighs only 64 stokes in comparison. The side striped jackal was side swiped by all together now. Home habitat advantage and splash down into the Mediterranean Sea. Did you know the Mediterranean is horribly polluted? While well, the dolphin ate some rather chemical pasty seafood, the jackal started swimming to shore and got entangled with a Portuguese man o' war. The jackal was stoned and went into shock, slowly sinking below the waves. The mongoose was feeling pretty pleased with himself after his first round victory over the polecat. He strutted through Maiko National Park and walked straight into something. He looked happy. The mongoose looked up and up and up at the okapi, then spun around and fled. Win some, lose some, and the okapi wins. Contenders started out in difficulty. The owl monkey and his baby were freezing like popsicles in the Antarctic ice. The emperor penguin was being chased through the water by a seal. The penguin rocketed out of the water and zoomed across the ice directly into the owl monkey, sending the monkey careening off the battlefield. Do you think this is how curling was invented? Hey, MC! Serengeti. The hyena is eating some zebra carcass over there. Ugh. The tenrick is nervous. I think he's looking for his family. The hyena is coming over with a bone in its mouth and what? It just rolled the tenrick with that bone. The tenrick is down. Oh boy. Wait, wait, can you bring weapons to these battles? <laughs> The Siamang was swinging along with his family when he spied something on the ground. A tasty fig, perhaps? He picked it up, but it was the lump sucker indignantly bobbing in a puddle. Blech. The Siamang tossed this faux fruit into the air and left the battlefield to look for some real food. The lump sucker landed back in the puddle, disoriented but surprisingly victorious. March Mammal Magic swept the bat-eared fox to the Rocky Mountains, but it accidentally swept up one of his cubs as well. The wolverine instantly zeroed in on this potential morsel. The wolverine lunged, but the dad fox interceded, distracting the wolverine from his child, but at a great cost. The cub escaped to safety, but the wolverine overpowered the adult fox. Hey, MC, I'm here flying high above Argentina. I'm looking down there, and there's the Rhea. He's still herding his chicks around. And it looks like our friend the Dyak Bat has decided to uh, take a little siesta in one of the bushes down there next to him. Oh, he's catching some Zs, and here comes the uh, Rhea. And oh my god, <coughs> the Rhea has just vomited 
all over our friend the Diet Fruit Bat. He is so offended he has left the battlefield. This is really a repulsive end to this competition. What breed of dog can jump higher than a skyscraper? Any breed. Skyscrapers can't jump. Ha! Oh, brother, this guy stinks! See you next week for more March Mammal Madness. Help! Call the police. Um, can I start? Uh oh.